Our next uh, speakers are going to be Ilya Kuprianov and Stanislav Sa Sazin, who are visiting from Moscow. And Ilya is the development director of doctorsatwork.com, the largest physician network, uh, the f largest Russian-speaking physician network with over 150,000 physicians. And uh, Stanislav is the founder and CEO of the same. And they will be talking about the role of gaming technology in, in improving healthcare education. Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, it's usually not easy in after lunch sessions to sit so long on it. Um, we should say that an uh, important part of a uh, patient driven healthcare system uh, is still a human. And uh, in our particular case, uh, this human uh, is a physician. And um, what we would like to talk about a bit is uh, how we can work, how we can interact with physicians to change the system. Unless uh, for two young entrepreneurs, uh, uh, it's not easy to change the whole system. Uh, we will try to explain uh, what we do to improve healthcare in Russia and how we interact with physicians. Uh, I will give a word to Stanislav uh, to say a few words about what Doctor at Work is, and then we will talk about what we do. Yes, uh, hi. Uh, we started five years ago, and uh, for the last uh, three years we visit Stanford Medicine X, so it's our uh, third visit here. Uh, now we have uh, each third uh, physician in uh, Russia at our site. Uh, in total, it's 280,000 physicians. Uh, what physicians do here? Uh, so we are like Facebook, but just for physicians. So we, we verify each new member of our site, and only physicians are allowed to enter inside. What do they do there? Uh, mainly they discuss uh, difficult cases of their patients. Uh, for example, each month uh, they create more than 120,000 clinical materials. Uh, it is more than all Russian medical jo uh, journals uh, have published for last 20 years. So each month we create more than all Russian offline medical journals for 20 years. That's why we believe that we are uh, the future for uh, for improving uh, Russian medical system and for making uh, Russian physicians more professional uh, and more uh, ready to deal with difficult cases of patients. Uh, the next slide, please. Uh, so let's um, have a quick overview on what happens in Russia with physicians uh, and happens next. Uh, physicians has really small salaries. Uh, the normal salary for Russian physicians is between three and five hundred dollars per month. Uh, you can imagine that uh, when the good book on endocrinology, for example, costs uh, two hundred dollars, they can't afford it because they will have nothing to eat if they buy this book. Uh, this situation uh, forces also, we don't have continuous medical education as itself, because Russia is very big. We have several good universities uh, in Moscow and uh, some big cities, but uh, in most cases uh, physicians can't afford even to buy a ticket to that place. So this is what happens uh, in Russia now. Next slide, please. Uh, we have several uh, plat online platforms. I mean, online uh, could be the only way to provide data quick, and uh, the online platforms could be the only way to help to escape this lack of information that we have in Russia. 
Uh, we have several platforms which are made by uh, huge pharmaceutical companies, uh, which are MSD site uh, Univadis. You might know it. It's it's a global part. It's a part of their global project, uh, which has been translated to Russian. And it's important seeing that uh, Russian physicians don't speak English in most time, so they don't have access to this uh, kind of PubMed and all the rest, which uh, all normal countries have access to, and where most physicians get data from. So they speak only Russian, and uh, it it's really hard for them to access any other uh, data, expect Russian. Uh, we have also a site from Takeda, uh, which is huge uh, in amounts of content, but very bad in terms of uh, how it's made for physicians, because pharmaceutical companies don't understand physicians' needs, and uh, they make sites which doesn't help physicians to understand the information they can get. Yeah, I can show my own example here. Uh, my wife works for one big pharma company in Russia and as far as I know, uh, when a pharma co company decides to create site for physicians in Russia, first they, uh, they uh, sp spend like months on creating a uh, big document about how they want to this uh, site to look like. Uh, then uh, they spent few uh, months to find a company or agency that will create this site, uh, and then they spent uh, more months to to uh, to uh, explain this agency what they really needed. Uh, as you can understand, uh, this process uh, hardly can uh, uh, finish in creating something that will, uh, uh, that, uh, that physicians will love. And uh, we, we work very fast. So, for example, if uh, today I receive a letter from one of our physicians who says that uh, we need to change something uh, at our site, you can be sure that in the next like, 24 uh, hours uh, we will do our b best to uh, improve our uh, f functionality. Uh, so, what happens with education uh, for physicians in Russia? Uh, from perspective of most physicians, uh, education is hard. They need to put efforts, they need to be motivated uh, to do this. It's uh, time consuming, it's expensive as I said before, and uh, in most cases it is useless uh, from perspective of a physician. Why? It helps him to provide better treatment for patients, but it doesn't help him to earn more money. And uh, as long as most of the Russian physicians work for government, uh, the more education they have, uh, the same position they have still in the hospital. So uh, in this situation, we try to do at least something and uh, make education. Uh, what we try to do is, next slide please. Uh, quick, rewarding, and easy. So uh, we're not trying to exchange continuous medical education, medical education, as you see it from United States perspective, but we try to uh, provide some simple things, some uh, easy steps uh, to bring new information into a physician's head. Uh, this is uh, parts which doctors work can, uh, can provide. Uh, to anyone who wants to educate physicians. And there are a bunch of things why internet is a better way to educate uh, physicians and help them to understand how to treat patients well. So uh, the, the, the main of them, of course, it is uh, speed and for country big as Russia, it is opportunity to reach uh, data from each part of the country. So um, 
how we do that? Uh, we've made a three-step process uh, which simply helps us to provide data to physicians. We started uh, a few years ago with uh, data delivery, but now we want not just deliver data. We need uh, physicians to work with data, to understand data, to uh, show us that they passed uh, knowledge that we try to bring them. So how we do that? On the first step, uh, we announce uh, a game. It could be different game, it could be a uh, text game, it could be real game with uh, interaction with some figures and so on. And we provide the theory, we provide the data we want them to understand and see. Uh, and on the second step, or maybe it's third step from this perspective, uh, next slide please, uh, we uh, simulate patients. So we provide opportunity for doctor to use the case uh, and this patient can be provided as a video, as a text, as a Q&A. There are many options with how we can do it. Uh, for example, for uh, one company we did, um, one drug needs a specific diet uh, which uh, patients should uh, use when he uses a drug. So uh, we make the game when there is a basket and there are some foods and doctors need to put foods in a basket and good foods go into basket, bad foods doesn't go. I mean, it's really simple. The, f the food is uh, made in a very simple way, but it's uh, good to understand which can be used, which, which is wrong. Uh, and on the third, on the third step, uh, we ask doctors, in most cases we, do, we ask them to provide diagnosis or uh, show how the patient could be treated. And after he, he, he provides us information, we say to him if, if he's right or wrong. And we explain why he's right or wrong. So these uh, four simple steps, they're quite usual for, for this room. I mean, it's almost the same people, students of Stanford, does in these classrooms. Uh, they get information, they discuss this information with, with others, and they uh, get uh, response from their uh, teachers and so on. So it's almost the same, but in our case, it can be done in like uh, 15 minutes, uh, some simple SAM, which is uh, provided via online. There are some examples uh, we already did. This is an example of uh, text uh, data of text patient. It's there is kind of, uh, kind of system uh, where you uh, achieve a number of uh, points and a number of points on the next slide shows you uh, which drug right to or which dosage uh, should be used in this particular case. So it, it makes simple for uh, physicians to understand and get this information. Uh, this is example of the video patient. It's, I mean, this, uh, can we show, why we use it? Because we can create this kind of course, if we have proper data, we can uh, create this course uh, within a few hours. Uh, we can uh, write the video and put it on YouTube. It takes like 15 minutes. Uh, we can put the data on the site. It takes like five minutes. And uh, we can make a Q&A on the site. It takes like 15 minutes. And the only thing we need is get this data from uh, some professionals, like uh, from schools or from uh, pharmaceutical companies or from others who want uh, to explain something about drug. So this is it. It's less than one hour and you build a good working course which might be interesting for physicians and might involve them in a process of education. Um, now we have like 30% of all Russian physicians uh, using our site. Uh, from 15 to 25% of these physicians usually play the games we provide them. Uh, usually it's a game for different specialties, but like 15 to 25 of each specialty play. So it means that 5% of all Russian doctors play our games, uh, each one game. So if we make like 20, 30 games a year, uh, it can be real good and huge impact. Um, that's it, thank you very much. If you have any questions, uh, we would be happy to answer.